So SPM, you need to know uh, three uh, magnetic effects, eh? okay? Straight wire, flat coil, and uh, solenoid. Okay, we will discuss this one by one. Eh? Okay, let's let's start with uh, the straight wire first. So magnetic effects of a current carrying conductor, straight wire. Okay. The magnetic field formed by a straight wire are cold centric circles around the wire as shown in the figure. Okay, so let's say this is a wire. And uh, when there's a current flow, when there's a current flow, then uh, there is a magnetic field around this uh, wire. Okay, and the patterns of the magnetic field is a circle. Okay, cold centric circle means that the center of the circle is always the, at the same point. Eh? This circle, the center is here. The second circle, the center is here. The third circle, the center is still the same point. So that's called a cold centric circle. So magnetic field of a straight wire is a cold centric circles. Okay, so that is the first thing that you need to know. Okay, so these two wires, the pattern is the same. Okay, the patterns of the magnetic field is the same. Okay, but only the direction is not the same. Okay. And uh, you see uh, if the direction change, uh, this one, the currents go up, then the field is uh, anti-clockwise, okay? If uh, the currents go down, then the field will be uh, clockwise. So uh, we will explain uh, later how to determine the directions of the field. Eh? From the mind map, you can see. Eh? So for all three electromagnet, you need to know the field patterns and the factors affect the strength. For straight wire, flat coil, or solenoid, eh? You need to know the patterns of the uh, magnetic field. When the directions of the current is inversed, the directions of the magnetic field line is also inversed. Okay, so this one you see the current uh, go up is uh, anti-clockwise, currents uh, go down, then is uh, clockwise. Eh? Okay, so means that the directions of the magnetic field is determined by the directions of the current. Eh? The directions of the magnetic field can be determined by uh, two methods or two rules. Uh, Maxwell's screw rule and uh, the right hand grip rule. Uh, okay. uh, personally, I prefer the second one, the right hand grip rule. Uh, okay. I seldom use the Maxwell screw rule. But anyway, uh, in SPN, you still need to know Maxwell's screw rule. Okay. Because sometimes in objective questions, uh, uh, they will draw the diagrams of Maxwell screw rules uh, and then they will ask you okay, which one is the uh, correct use of Maxwell screw rules. So you still need to know Maxwell screw rules. Uh, even though uh, if you don't like Maxwell screw rule, you still need to know. In uh, my tuitions, okay, usually I will use uh, right hand grip rules uh, to show you uh, the directions of the field. So let's start with uh, right hand grip rules. Uh, right hand grip rules, of course, uh, from the name, then you should know that you should use your right hand and uh, don't use your left hand uh, because a lot of students are right handed uh, in exam. Okay, so they, they use their right hands to write uh, when they see uh, questions. Okay, so straight away, uh, they will use their left hands to find the field. Uh, that's not correct. Uh. So if you're left, uh, right handed, so if you see the questions, then you have to uh, Put down your pen, okay, and then use your right hand to find the directions of the field. Eh? Make sure that you use the right hand, okay. So for this right hand grip rules, eh, you just imagine that uh, this is a wire, okay. This is a wire. So you use your right hand to grip the wire, okay, to grip the wire in this way, and the thumb, the thumb shows the directions of the current, okay. The thumb shows the directions of the current. Eh? So this is current. And the other four fingers show the directions of the field. So the thumb shows the directions of the currents. The, 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 the other fingers show the directions of the field. Eh? So the C. So this one, eh? okay, because the, the, the finger shows that is uh, anti-clockwise. Eh? So the field is anti-clockwise. The currents go up. Eh? The currents go up. And then the field is uh, uh, counterclockwise. Okay, so that is how we use the right hand grip rules to determine the directions of the field. Then uh, for the Maxwell screw rules, so you just imagine that you have a screw, the sharp end of the screw shows the directions of the current. The directions of the current. Then you try to imagine that if you want to tighten a screw, if you ever use uh, this screw and screwdrivers, okay, when you want to tighten the screw, uh, we, we always uh, turn clockwise eh? okay and that is the directions of the field so this 
point to the directions of the current and return. Uh, we always turn clockwise uh, for screw. If you want to tighten the screw, we, we always turn clockwise. So that is the directions of the field. So that is how we use uh, this uh, right hand grip rules or Maxwell screw rules uh, to determine the directions of the field. We seldom seldom use this one, okay? For me, I actually I don't like this method, but you still still uh, you need to know, uh, okay? Yeah, it may come up in uh, objective questions that uh, they would like you to identify uh, the directions of the field by using Maxwell screw rules. Sometime, uh, they would like you to draw the field patterns uh, given in the plan view, okay? They give you the plan view like this, uh, okay? And then they want you to draw the field patterns, uh, okay? Now, if uh, they give you something like this, okay? This is called a 3D view, uh, okay? This is a 3D view, okay? But sometimes they may give you the plan view like this. Now, if they give you the plan view like this, then you need to know the meanings of the symbol. Uh. Uh, you can see a dot here, and you can see the cross here, right? So you must know what does this mean? What is a dot means and uh, what is a cross mean? Now a dot, a dot means that the current come out from this plane. Okay, so this is surface, so this is a plane, eh? okay? So a dot shows that the current come out from this plane, okay? A cross, a cross shows that the currents go into the plane. Ah, that's the meanings of the dot and cross. Eh? Dot means that come out from this uh, plane. And a cross means that it go inside the plane. Eh? Then we use a uh, right hand grip rules. The thumb, eh? the thumb shows the directions of the current, right? So the current come come out. The current comes out from the plane. Eh? So the other four fingers shows the directions of the field, right? So uh, here it shows that it's uh, counterclockwise. Eh? So therefore the field is counterclockwise or anti-clockwise. So the finger shows the directions of the field. Okay, the finger shows that the, the field is like this, eh? it's uh, counterclockwise. Uh, for the second case, it's a cross. Eh? The cross means that the currents go inside. Okay, the current go inside. So use your right hand grip rules, eh? the currents go inside. So these four fingers, it shows the directions of the field. Uh, it shows that the field is uh, clockwise. Eh? Okay, it's clockwise. Eh? So therefore the field pattern is clockwise. So uh, that is the few patterns in plan view. So they may give you 3D view and they may give you plan view. Eh? So usually they will give you, uh, this is a plan view. Uh, so just now as I told you, right? Okay, if it's a dot means that the currents come out from this plane, and this is a plane. Eh? So if, if it's a dot, then the currents come out. And uh, if it's a cross, then the current go in. Uh, how to remember this? To remember this, you try to imagine eh? Uh, there's an arrow, a moving arrow, and uh, this is the feather of the arrow. And you try to imagine this is a moving arrow. Uh, it's moving, let's say it's moving to the right. Uh. So if you are here, you are the observer, you are here to see this arrow. If you see this arrow from the right, uh, okay, so what you see, uh, what you see is a circle with a dot, right? because uh, the arrow coming towards you. So what you see is a circle with a dot. Now if you are at the back, so what you see is the feather, right? Okay, the feather. So uh, you, you will see the, just the cross, uh, without the circle actually, so you will see the cross. So it means that if you see the cross, means that the arrow is moving away from you, eh? so it's going inside, inside the planet. Eh? If you see a dot, means that the, the, the arrow is coming towards you, so it's come out come out from the plane eh? okay so go inside the plane come out from the plane okay or, or you can see this one okay dot means that come out from the plane and cross means you go inside the plane so you must uh, understand this symbol eh? dot and cross because sometimes they may use this dot and cross eh? to show the directions of the current the strength of the magnetic field the strength of the magnetic field uh, depends on the magnitude of the current how strong the current is eh? For example, if the current is weak current, uh, so the field is weak. See the distance uh, is very far away. And if the current is very strong, uh, then the field is very uh, strong. It's a stronger field. Eh? That's the first factors that affect the strength of the magnetic field in a straight wire. 
Uh, another one is the distance. This is the wire, okay? At the place close to the wire, okay, the field is strong. Okay, so you see, this line uh, are very close to each other. Shows that the field is a strong, uh, okay? It's a strong field. The line is closer. The place which is uh, far away from this uh, current, uh, the field become weaker. Yeah, become weaker. You see the distance of the line, eh? okay? It's far away, right? Here, the lines are very close to each other. Here, the lines are far from each other. Uh, so this shows that the field here is weak and the field here is strong, eh? okay? So the strength of the field uh, decreases. From the center, it decreases and finally becomes zero. Eh? Uh, so two factors that affect the strength of uh, the magnetic field. Eh? The magnitude of the current and uh, the distance from the current. And uh, this exercise one, uh, they ask you to draw the magnetic field lines of the following current carrying straight wire. This one, this one, this one, and this one. Now when you draw the magnetic field, uh, two things uh, which you need to know. First, you must know the patterns. Uh, it's a circle, right? For straight wire, it's a circle. And second is the directions. Uh directions okay sorry there's one more thing okay three things that you need to know huh? just now i say two right so three things that you need to know first is the pattern which is a circle and uh second is the directions okay it's the directions then you use you use the right hand grip rule to determine the directions huh? uh, let me show you one okay so this one uh is circle okay circle uh the directions if you use right hand grip grip rules huh? okay is uh, counterclockwise okay and then you draw a second one it's also a circle Okay, counterclockwise. Huh? Now, other than the direction and the patterns, huh, you also need to show the strength. The strength, okay? As I told you just now, if it's uh, far away from the center, then uh, the field become weaker. So then you must draw this. If, if you draw this line here, uh, then it's not, not correct, huh? okay? Because you see, all the lines, uh, the distance of the line is the same. It means that uh, it is a uniform field. Now, this is not, not correct, okay? The field must be far away from each other. It shows that the field become weaker. Uh, then this is the correct one. Okay, so you show the patterns, uh, the directions, and also the strength of the field, eh? represented by the distance. Yeah? You must show these three things eh? when you draw a uh, magnetic field lines. Uh, do this one, this one, and this one. Eh? Okay. So this is the answer, okay? This answer for the first two cases. So it's a circle, and then uh, you use the right-hand grid rule to determine the directions. Uh, this two, because it's a 3D view, eh? so not necessarily you must do it really a circle, okay? Yeah, because 3D view, then it will look like a, it's, it's like a ellipse, eh? okay? So we can draw it this way. And then uh, the directions. Use the right hand grid rule to determine the directions. And this one also. So this answer, 